Hello and welcome back to the Broken Doll and to the Canadian dolls and those who collect them. This here little doll is going to get new eyes. Now I've been looking at my eyes. I don't have any brown and I like to make her brown. This is the time when um, you want to, if you're going to change their color, change them. I know she's blue and I talk about like, liking to keep my dolls as close to the original as possible. But if I'm going to make mama brown, she's going to be brown as well. And I have no problem with that myself. It's your doll. You can do what you like with it. Now, I will always keep these eyes. They will go with her. So if somebody wanted to return, if I was ever to sell this set, let's say I did down the road, I'm not going to right now because I really enjoy owning them right at this time. But if, let's say I did, I would say, well, you know, she was a blue eye and I do have her, her original blue eyes for her right here. They will be part of the parcel that goes with her, the package. So if they wanted to put them back in, they could. That's up to them, to the, the new owner. But for me here, I like her that she has... Um, that she would have brown eyes to match her mama. But to show you the eyes of what I do have here, this is the size of her eye right here. And there's the blue eyes that she would have. She takes a size, I think they're a 10, I think they are. I, I read on the, the back of them. I need to put another set of glasses on because I, I got my magnifiers behind me. And I think these are a 10, if I'm right. Um, oh, a 6. Wait a minute, let me see. Or a 9. Nine. There are nine. That's what these are. These are a nine. That's what. That's what it is. They are not. These are ten. So maybe these would be more her size. Let's take a look and see. Well, those look a little bit like they, the irises look a little. You go by also the iris, and it looks a little bit too big. I think the nines are more her size. Yeah, I think that's more her size. Mm, I don't know. Maybe those were the, it. They're the the ten. There's such a a difference between one size to the other. You know what? Maybe the tens are her size. But anyhow, as it may be, you can always try them. Poke, put them in. Take them out. If they don't look right. You know, you got to decide. You know, as you move through it. You know, which size looks the, the best. You know, um, on these dolls. I get these eyes from Doll Part Supply. Okay, um, now you can go on eBay. They're expensive on eBay. Um, it's expensive no matter which way you look at it. Um, I've been trying to find Canadian sites. I found a few little Canadian sites that do sell some doll, some doll supplies, but not to the degree of what I'm looking for. And they're buying from stateside anyway, so the price is knocked up a bit. So I don't like, you know, I might as well just go by stateside then if that's the case. This is the problem in Canada. We just don't have places that, you know, that manufactures this stuff or they buy it or whatever. And um, you can get it at wholesale prices. Um, that's the problem. So at this time, I'm stuck with Doll Part Supply. They are a good good company to deal with. They sell a lot of everything. I ordered 1950, to, uh, they make them today, but they, they do sell the 1950 shoes that I need for these dolls. So I ordered um, about maybe six, I think it was, I can't remember, I think it was six pairs of them. Um, in there so I, I got a bunch of different stuff I got nylons as well that are coming in you can make your own nylons out of nylons if you want to and save the money that way um, I just like these um, if I'm gonna put an order in I try to put over fifty dollars so that way they send to me and the thing is I've got more dolls here that need more uh, of the, this sort here that need help so anyways I hope you enjoy what you're seeing here lots more to come on these dolls and fixing up our 1950 fashion dolls Canadian fashion dolls here and you know what the the U.S. also has their own fashion dolls just as well. And this stuff, the same thing applies to what I'm doing to these Canadian D&C dolls. You can do to your own as well. So this this is something just right across the board, you know. So um, that's why I'm putting it up on both ends because I think it needs to be. And um, yeah, wonderful, wonderful stuff though. All the time we're learning. And I, like I say, I don't know it all. I learn as I go along and that's how I, I, I deal with it. And um, we'll sometimes discover things together as it unfolds right in front of the camera. It has happened many times to me that as I am uh, experimenting on something, it's like a light bulb goes off and we go, wow, that was great or wow don't do that again <laughs> type of thing so <laughs> really and so we learn it together and so and that's the exciting part about it when it comes to our dolls these dolls eyes can be taken apart especially the ones inside which I might just do before I dedicate a brown pair of eyes into her I'm going to take these eyes apart it could be something on the inside that just needs to be wiped out it could be some moisture it could be just a little bit of mold um, and the eyes could be put right back into her again and if that is the case 
Now I'm back to my quandary again. Do I want to keep her brown eyes or put the originals back in? And I'm all about, again, returning my dolls to the original state, which then if I can fix this eye up, I probably will put them back in. So see how you're all over the map right now, wondering and waiting and all this stuff. My next step is to take these dolls' eyes out and experiment with them. And if I find out that um, they it just needs a wiping out, great. I fixed a pair of Chatty Cathy eyes. They can be taken apart and they can be fixed. And she had cloudy eyes and I was able to go right in and fix the eyes, put new lashes in as well, and on went the doll. So just letting you know, there are things that can be done with these eyes. So <clears throat> with the eyes, um, it's something uh, as you discover. And sometimes you just got to rip apart just to figure it out. And if you break them, well, you break them. And, there's, and make sure you have your replacements there for them. And that you can replace a pair of eyes right back in again. So anyways, thank you for joining me. And there's more to come on these wonderful, wonderful dolls. And the wonderful world that we're in. And um, we're able to explore it and uh, figure some things out. And we do it together. Thanks for, for dropping in and dropping by. Bye-bye. <coughs> oh, yeah. And I was, I was going to do this one, one more thing. <coughs> Excuse me. I still got a bit of a cough. I've got another. I found two more. I, I, I wanted to mention this. I found two more D&C dolls. I am going to show them to you. I want to bring them out. I've got them sitting here. And um, they're going to be uh, kind of, one, one is going to be very surprising to you and the condition that she's in and she d does need some help. She's she's also asking for some help as well, but it, um, she's uh, um, in her original clothes as well. And I want to show her coming up here as I get these other, the, the mother and the daughter set done as I come to a close with them. I'm going to bring these other two out and I think they're both D and C as well. So all together I have four four D&C dolls sitting here, and um, that's exciting. I don't think this little girl is marked, though, on the back of her. I've been looking, and I don't see anything on her. So she must have been just, she came through the mother, and, um, yeah, so um, that's all I can say about it. But I do have two more D&C dolls that are sitting here that are in need of uh, help as well. Who knows what else I have up in my attic up there. I know I've got more. And I'm going to explore up there and see what else I find up there. If I can find more, I'll bring them down. I know I have a great big 25, 27 inch one up there that I would love to bring her down and show her to you. Because she's gorgeous. She's just a gorgeous doll. I don't know who made her. And um, that's that's just the thing. I, I've had them for such a long time. I've been back into dolls for about 12 years here. I was back in it back when as a young girl. I collected dolls back when I my teenage years and then I got married and had my own babies and dolls go to the side so but the thing is is that um yeah um now I'm back into it here and I've got a number of dolls of the uh, this type of doll sitting in my shop here somewhere and as I go through bins I'll find them but thanks for joining me and more to come bye-bye